I would like to tell you about our paper, Neutralizing the Adverse Prognosis of Coronary Artery Calcium. This paper will be published in the August 2013 Mayo Clinic Proceedings issue. We think this asks an important and relevant question. Specifically, is the adverse prognosis portended by an abnormal coronary artery calcium score a reversible risk factor? So, coronary disease remains the number one killer. We use things like the Framingham Risk Score to find out who's at risk. But it turns out that it's not all that precise or comprehensive. We're finding this, these newer risk factors, uh, and among this whole crop of new risk factors, perhaps the strongest predictor is an abnormal coronary artery calcium score. This detects the presence of calcified plaque in the coronary arteries, and in a linear fashion, the higher the coronary calcium, the higher the risk of future cardiac events. We've been using this test a lot. In fact, this is a retrospective study going back to 2000, and it uh, follows them all the way up to 2012. 849 people uh, compared to an age and gender matched group. Uh, and of these 849 people with an abnormal calcium score, they were enrolled in our preventive cardiology program. Well, we followed them at least two times a year, up to four times a year in our uh, cardio wellness center where we focus on risk factor modifications such as controlling blood pressure, lipids, getting them off, cigarettes, exercising more, eating a healthy diet, and being pretty pretty effective, in our opinion, at getting people to goal on their risk factors. So we find these people, get them in here, follow them uh, for on average 58 months compared to an age and gender matched control group from the same region. And we looked at specifically Kaplan-Meier's uh, survival curves for major adverse coronary events and all-cause mortality. We were encouraged to note that among these 849 people who had a pretty substantial mean calcium score of 336, that their MACE event, uh, event rate was 4% for the people who had the coronary calcium and about 4% for the control group. When we looked at all-cause all mortality or, or all-cause all survival, um, we found that uh, well, in fact, the mortality was 9.3% for the people who had the abnormal calcium score, and the age and gender match control group, it was 10.6%. Not statistically different, very low rates, and quite encouraging. So, the bottom line of this study was that calcium scores, as helpful as they are, do not, um, do not seal your fate with respect to increased risk of coronary disease. It is a marker and a very precise and accurate marker of calcified plaque burden in the coronaries, but we find that in the context of an aggressive longitudinal risk factor program that we can neutralize the adverse prognosis of coronary artery calcium. So this is very encouraging. I think that uh, we are, are very um, aggressive about using this screening profile for people middle-aged and older who have one or more risk factors who fall into the intermediate risk category by Framingham Risk Score. We find that if they have coronary artery calcification, we encourage them to enroll in our preventive cardiology program. We follow them closely and we can reassure them that while their coronary calcium score won't go down, in our experience and in the medical literature, once you have a calcium in plaque in the coronary arteries, you can control things perfectly well. That's not going to go down, but more importantly, the risk associated with that can be completely neutralized and essentially uh, taken back to normal. So thanks for your attention, and we hope that you uh, read our article. And we appreciate the opportunity to publish it in the esteemed Mayo Clinic Proceedings. James O'Keefe signing off. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.